Hey McFly subscribers, this is just kind of like a quick update of what's going on. So we had another infestation of a uh, type of bug at our house um, <laughs> and we spent a couple nights over at my parents house. So my wife and I were laying in bed, um, it was about 11 o'clock at night. Um, she went to look at her phone really quick to check the time and she saw a little spider crawling on it and thought nothing of it. Um, asked me to smush it, which I did. It was a baby. It was really small. And we're like, whatever. And then we go to sleep, and I wake up around 12.30 or so, go to use the restroom, turn on the light, and I look down, and I've got a whole bunch of these little baby spiders hanging from my beard. <laughs> like seven, eight, nine of them, right? So <laughs> it was terrible. So I come running back to check on her, and sure enough, there are thousands of spiders just crawling all over the rungs of the bed here, uh, in the windowsill. Um, there are, they're everywhere. So we jump out of bed as fast as we can. We run into, uh, uh, you know, she jumps in the shower first and tries to wash them all off, and, and uh, we kind of throw our clothes uh, back on the bed, and I jump in the shower, and it was just... Uh, big thing. Uh, first we checked on our kid. Uh, we didn't we wanted to make sure he didn't have them. He had none. It was only in our room. They weren't out in the living room or anything like that. Just our bedroom. Completely engulfed our bedroom. So we went and slept uh, that night on the couch out in the, the living room. It was kind of a pain. And then we spent about two nights at my parents' house because it was uh, the 3rd of July. So the next day was the 4th of July and Orkin or any pest service was not available. Uh, but we finally got Orkin over yesterday, and he came through and looked at it, sprayed, and he said this happens sometimes, um, especially in older homes. Uh, but after this happens, they'll dissipate, uh, give it a couple days, and they'll dissipate. We're back here now. Um, excuse the mess in here, because we literally ripped the sheets off really quick, threw them in the, the washer to make sure it killed all the spiders on them. We vacuumed the whole room, trying to get them all up. Of course, dumped it outside. Um, we laid our clothes up up here and and uh, you know all of them we took them out of the the closet So it's a little messy in here. Excuse it as you can see we got clothes piled up and everything like that um, But it's been a crazy couple days, so While I was at my parents house I was able to make a quick trip to the animus and try again I didn't have much luck, but you know I it was a quick trip um, Not being home just kind of made it difficult. So this uh, this next week <clears throat> should have a fair amount of videos, but the following week I might have to take a hiatus again. It's just been a crazy, <laughs> crazy couple weeks. Um, there's just, it's nuts. Um, we've been having some craziness at the house. Just infestation after infestation. So, uh, we still love the place. We're not, we have no problem with, with the house. <clears throat> and I think once we're here for a little while, those kind of little things will go away. Hopefully. <clears throat> Um, so there's that and so it's been a little busy we've been working hard my wife being pregnant um, she's you know we've got like another four weeks um, it's also really hot um, you know it's not as hot as the other place luckily but you can see I'm sweating a little it's about 85 in in the house which it's 90 outside so it's not that bad um, it's definitely cooler at the other place I think it would have been 105 if not 115 um, it was just really hot at that other place. It was like, you know, an oven in there. Every time the sun would shine on the roof, it would warm up the house. This one has trees, so it doesn't really warm up the same way. Um, but we got our air conditioner, and we're, um, we're letting that uh, run, and it's, it's doing good. It's better in this place. I turned it off so it's, you know, for the day, um, because it's not that hot outside, being 90 outside, uh, being 80 and 5 in here, we can handle it. Just once it goes above 90, then we have to turn it on. So, there's that, guys. Um, I have another update for you, so give me a minute. I'll run downstairs and show you. All right, so now I'm downstairs. I'm going to show you guys the new update. Um, there we go. Got a Honda CRV, a new one. We just got it. Um, we really need another car. And we were looking, we didn't have a whole lot of money to put down, um, being with the move and all, we kind of ran in through our savings and everything. Uh, and instead of getting an old, another older car like this, um, which we bought actually for only like $2,500, a great deal, 
and it runs real good. We're looking for something like that, but the problem is we didn't have 2,500, three grand, 3,500. We didn't have that money. And buying a new car, sometimes they can do zero down, which they did on that. Uh, so we got we got a new car just because we had to get another car. Being out here, um, not a lot of people. There's really no neighbors. Um, if something happened in the middle of the night, my wife works night shift. I I'd have to walk to the hospital, which is not real far, or not real close, I mean. Uh, so it was just something that we really needed. We had to get another car. Um, I just felt a lot safer um, if she's gone with, with this car or, or I'm gone, you know, and she needs to run out. Uh, sometimes I go out on trips and I don't have cell service. And then, you know, what is she going to do taking the kid to the, to the hospital? So had to get another car and the only option was get a new car. We're big on getting old ones like this and you know, they work and we don't like the big payment, but luckily this wasn't too bad a payment and it worked out pretty well for us. Um, and it's something that we can kind of manage. So we do have a baby coming also, and I just wanted something safe for my wife. Um, you know, and this just kind of was the best option. It has good ground clearance, it's all wheel drive, um, just all around. I mean, everything I wanted in, in a car. Obviously, I've got this. If I really want to do some crazy off-roading, I think this will do a little better. And plus, I don't mind beating this up as much as the new car. But, you know, this does get me some places I want to go, um, you know, and with the winter here and stuff like that, it four wheel drive is, or I guess it's all wheel drive, um, turns on when it starts to slip kind of thing. It's not constant, not like the Subaru, but it, it I, you know, this is, uh, is kind of the best option for us. Plus it's Honda and it'll last a good long time. And we're not type of people to trade a car in every, every three years, you know, uh, we'll probably keep it for a good, uh, you know, 15 years, um, we'll run the wheels off of it, uh, kind of like this one, right? So, you know, I think uh, uh, we're really excited about it. We like it, it's really nice. Um, but I'm definitely not gonna show you guys the license plate, even though we don't have one yet. I think they have a dealer plate on there, but I, I don't really feel like putting that online. Uh, but there we go. So you might see me fishing this every once in a while, guys, now, instead of just the just the Subaru, okay? But um, we're pretty excited about the about the car. So, um, also we had uh, five more mice in the in the garage. So even though I sealed it off, let me show you my seal job here, okay? I think I did pretty good. Uh, so there was big gaps under here, really big gaps. So we put new a new um, weather strip here. Okay, and the mice were just getting right under there. You could see this was all chewed, the previous weather strip. So we sealed this all off. However, they're still finding a way to get in. I don't know why, but they are. So, you know, the guy, uh, Orkin, when he came for the mice, I told him about it. So he recommended me to, see, he thinks they can get in right through here. So he put some steel wool for now, um, and he said, if you're going to open up this, we haven't opened it for a day or two, um, well, actually since yesterday when he came, but he said uh, to put something called liquid nails there and build it up, and that way when this comes down, it'll keep them from coming. He thinks that's where they're getting in. So hopefully then we got this taken care of, and then we won't get any more mice. So obviously they're not able to climb up this, and I don't think they can fit through these. I don't know what they are, but look like bullet holes I'm not really sure it's kind of weird but they're all over looks like someone came with a the nine millimeter handgun and just shot 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 but uh, I have no clue that was there when we moved in but kind of weird but I don't think they can get through and he didn't either so I think we got this taken care of even though there were a few more mice uh, you know last uh, but it, it was a lot better than the first couple days I was like two or three days we caught ten of them and now I think there was five of them, and that was over the course of like four days or five days. So it's not that bad. One a day, we can handle. Um, and we're hoping to make it zero. So, you know, and then we can kind of, I can put more stuff in the garage right now. It's kind of, you know, up in, the, up in the house, which makes it a little more crowded, especially a smaller house. Um, like to be able to use this big garage space to be able to store food and my fishing equipment and stuff like that. Um, you know, so 
we'll see. But let me uh, let me give you guys a quick little show of the car. I'm pretty excited about it. I like it. Um, it's not, you know, crazy off-roading beast, but you know, it gets 32 miles per gallon, which is nice. It's better than our Subaru, and um, you know, it's nice to be able to drive long distance to go visit her family or whatever in Texas and take it or take longer trips hopefully with that car I was a little nervous with the Subaru but hopefully with that car I can make longer trips go out you know fish uh, uh, streams further away from the house maybe a two or three or four or heck you know overnight like just go real far maybe head up to Montana or something hit some streams up there so uh, that's what I'm hoping with this car it'll give me some further distance um, you know, being a new car, just safer to be out there that long on the road. But here we go, here's the tour of the car. So, here we go guys. And obviously I'm not gonna show you anything like VIN or anything, but, and I'm gonna do this. There we go. Obviously, I don't care if you know where I bought it, but um, I've got a tag on the back that has some kind of dealer VIN. So, there we go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice interior, we like it. Nothing special, we got the cheapest one you could get, it's all cloth. You know, we didn't need a, we don't need anything special. We don't need leather or anything like that. So there we go, guys. There's a the channel update. Nothing having to do with fishing because it hasn't really been, um, you know, if you look, it's actually pretty bad weather. You can see storm clouds coming in and stuff, and that, that has been happening almost every day here. Almost every day. Uh, so it hasn't really been the best weather either for fishing, but I just haven't had time having to deal with moving stuff over to my parents and then back over and and all that it's just been a pain so there we go there's a the channel update guys um hopefully next week there'll be a little more having to do with fishing um or camping or something this week has just been crazy the last couple weeks have been just nuts with this move uh it's never easy uh but this one is last one was especially hard but i don't know something about this one with all the problems with this house right now you know we're hoping they get better because we do like the house but they haven't been perfect so it's things that are just we're dealing with but it'll get better and i'll get out fishing with you guys uh pretty soon so i'll see you guys on the next video you guys in my place go out and catch some fish all right let me know how you do i'll talk to you later